Hello, hello you guys. Before we dive into today's video of the bathing garden, I just wanted to insert this in um, really quick before the video starts. Those of you who follow me on Instagram and know what I'm referencing, I wanted to say thank you. Uh, those of you who reached out personally, um, I truly appreciate that. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, skip forward. I'm going to timestamp the video right here so you can jump right into the bathing garden hall. Um, but in all reality, those of you who reached out to me, um, thank you. I was going to do a sit down and, and kind of go in depth uh, on a couple things, um, but I decided just to hop on here and really just say, you know, we all have things in life um, that we're either going through, have went through, will go through, um, maybe haven't went through and, and can't see it from a certain perspective, you know. And at the end of the day, uh, the bottom line is, we always want to be kind, um, remain humble and thankful. And, you know, with the nature of the climate of everything that's going on right now uh, in general, um, just to remain, remain aware and, you know, you never know what the next person's going through. So be kind. Um, you know, I, I just want to throw that out there. So those of you who do follow me on Instagram, um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. Um, we all have things and we all have things we have to process in our own way. So thank you. That means a lot to me. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back into some wax related things. Again, if you guys don't see tons of videos cranking out for me, it's simply, it's again, I've said this in other videos too, it's kind of a slow wax season. So as you can see, this is a sneak peek. I'm burning hibiscus waterfall. I'm sure I'll be doing a review on that. Um, you guys are gonna be watching the bathing garden unboxing, which I filmed a few days ago. So I'm gonna show that to you guys today. And I actually already have an empties haul coming too. So stay tuned. Um, in the coming weeks, I'll have some more videos. Thank you guys. It means so, so much to me uh, from the bottom of my heart. So anyhow, without further ado, Let's jump into the first ever for my channel, Vendor Wax, the bathing garden haul. Let's get right into it. All right, you guys, as promised, going to be our first ever, first ever on this channel, Vendor Wax unboxing. A um, little bit different angle because my legs started falling asleep. So we're going to film this way today. Um, before I dive into uh, this unboxing, I have to mention this because I'll kick myself in the butt for not saying this. AZ for Angela is the one who got me like semi intrigued in into vendor wax. I know we don't hear about it too, too much anymore. And, and forgive me, I'm sure there's people who are still talking about it. Um, I just, I don't see it that much, or maybe the channels I'm watching aren't discussing it that much, but it, it was kind of a big thing for a while and, um, things ebb and flow. And, um, but I, after I saw AZ for Angela talk about vendor wax, this is years ago, it, it always interests me and I just never had the time, opportunity, or just thought to, to order from a vendor website. So about three weeks ago, um, I will say shipping took a little while on this. Um, about three weeks ago, I hopped on the bathing gardens website and I found some scents that were new to me. I don't know if these are new, new, but they were new to me and um, I wanted to try them out. There was a lot of ones that I, I could have bought wanted to buy, um, but I figured I'd try a few that seemed the most interesting to me and I want to unbox them for you guys. So you guys can comment down below if you have heard of the bathing garden, if you have tried the bathing garden. I don't know much about them, don't know about the owner or any of that stuff, but they had a really cute website, lots of cute um, fragrances. They do wax and it looks like body care and things like that. This is all only wax items. I'll give you the price breakdown too, but um, I just wanted to throw that out there. If Angela ever sees this, thank you. You kind of got the ball rolling and um, finally like three years later, I'm actually trying it. I do have the scent notes pulled up because I have the breakdown and the pricing of the fragrances I ordered here. So I did go to her website and pull up the scents. His or her website. Do you see how I just assumed it was a girl that owned this website? It could be a guy. Who knows? All right, so I ordered three different clamshells. And right off the bat, you guys, I have to mention this, the price point, I have no idea how they stay in business. 
$3.95 for one full-size clamshell. That's insane. Um, I don't know the pricing on any of their other items, but that's incredibly, incredibly realistic. Um, again, I haven't burned these, melted these, anything like that, so I don't know how their performance is, but already just the price point on that, $3.95, that's not bad. That's cheaper than Yankee Candles little tarts are $2 a piece. So anyhow, I'm going to pull at random and we'll see what we have here. So they're packaged very, very pretty. And of course the invoice came inside. She has a little handwritten note on here. Thank you, Lauren. I hope you love your wax. Nice little touch. So there's three things in here that are wrapped up. Okay. And then there's actually two little loose things in here. These are not on the order. So I don't know. I don't know if she always includes samples or if she recognized that I was a first time buyer. I wanted to include some things in here. This is called Happy Unbirthday. And sorry, don't mind my bizarre camera angle today. It's been a weird filming day. Um, look at that. I appreciate the little details. She has actually the label, of course, it has like the little picture, the little icon. It's a little cake. How darling. So it's called Happy Unbirthday. It smells like a, a birthday cake, a vanilla frosting, maybe almost custardy kind of based birthday cake. Um, this one's okay. Um, again, I haven't melted it down. Sometimes vanilla cake scents for me, I'm kind of picky because they can always come across not authentic to me. So we'll see how this melts down. Um, the scent is nice. It's not bad by any means, but I mean, presentation on this. Look at that. I mean, that's time, energy, and effort to pour it into the mold, to drizzle extra wax on there. So, I mean, this is darling. I will probably wind up cutting this in half and getting two uses out of this. And if you guys are interested, you know, obviously, if, if you don't follow me on Instagram, this is your first time watching one of my videos. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H, underscore letter L. I do a lot of um, follow-ups and things like that. So I'll definitely be doing follow-ups on these if you guys are interested. All right. So the next one on here, now this is really cute. Strawberry nonsense. This is actually kind of fitting for summer because I, I still want to get my hands on one more strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works. This would pair really well with that. Okay. I like this one better. Then the birthday cake one. This is this is really cute. It's a little bunt cake. And it's got, look at that. Isn't that cute? Darling, darling. It smells, it doesn't smell as um, cakey, I guess. I don't know if it's meant to have cake. And again, I didn't pull up these notes. I don't know if these are available online. Strawberry nonsense. It smells more, um, you know, like the... Uh, during like the summer, 4th of July, a lot of times people will make that strawberry jello slash pretzel type concoction with like Cool Whip and stuff. It kind of reminds me of that type of strawberry, just like a very desserty type strawberry with a little bit of like maybe Cool Whip or something. I'd be interested to see how this one smells while it's melted down. So that is the strawberry nonsense right there. All right, moving on to the exciting ones. These three, I hope they smell good. Like I said, I haven't smelled them yet. And I'm pulling at random here. We got three to get through. Okay. This one, those of you who have followed me for a while, I love lavender. I'm a lavender gal at heart. This one is called the Cloud Maze. So this entire collection that I ordered from is called, I believe it's like the Carnival Collection, and she has different waxes and body creams and stuff like that in whatever collection it is. I think all the ones I ordered from were from the Carnival Collection, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't say on here, but I do think that's that's what it is. So this is called the Cloud Maze, and online it came across that it was just like a lavender type scent. So obviously I got it. Let me see. And then these are the notes I actually pulled up on Bathing Garden's website. Um, I actually, she didn't have, I don't know if that's showing or not. 
she didn't have the wax tarts available anymore. She didn't seem to have like a huge inventory of items. There's only like 10, 15, you know, eight pieces left of each when you order. But she does have Cloud Maze. This must be a pretty popular scent because she had it available in, it looks like a body scrub. So I'm hoping the notes are the same for the wax and the body scrub. Um, so the notes for Cloud Maze include candied marshmallow clouds, and lavender cotton candy blend into a sweet, dreamy lullaby. So let's see what it actually smells like. Different than I thought it would be. Not bad. This, this reminds me of Bath and Body Works aromatherapy lavender vanilla like the aromatherapy version their body care how it has that very delicate powdery lavender vanilla I get a smooth light lavender it's not like a eucalyptus herbaceous lavender smooth lavender with almost baby powder which I like I think this would be really pretty for like the bedroom to have it going at night or in the bedroom um, somewhere when you want something relaxing, bubble bath. This reminds me of like a total bubble bath burn slash melt. If you don't like powdery scents, I don't know if you're gonna like this one, um, but I'm really excited to try this one out. I really, really like it. It just was not what I was originally expecting. And I don't know if I showed you, how cute is that? So her details are just his or her details are um, very, very nice. I appreciate that. All right, so that is the cloud maze. If you guys have tried that, comment down below. We got two more to get through here. And again, like I said, they're all wrapped really pretty. What's this one? Oh, wow. Okay. The coloring on this one was not what I expected. This one is blueberry lemon funnel cake. I loved Bath and Body Works blueberry pie last summer, and I'm a big lemon fan. So the best of both worlds right here. Let's see if I think... Yes, blueberry lemon funnel cake. She did still have some available on her website at the time of filming. So the notes include golden funnel cake blended with fresh blueberries, tart lemon, and sweet vanilla powdered sugar. So what does it smell like? Let's see. If you like, um, if you like Bath and Body Works blueberry pie, you'll like this. I'd say it's about 80-20, at least this is on cold. Who knows how it's gonna smell while burning. I get about 80% blueberry, maybe 20% like lemon slash maybe like a creamy vanilla. There's maybe a little bit of like a lemon, not even like lemon zest. There's, there's just a little bit of um, a sweetness peeking through, but it really smells like a blueberry pie so I'd imagine maybe when this melts down it might be a little bit stronger on the blueberry totally fine with me look at how pretty that is pretty blue um, sparkle little sequins on there and then it's almost like a yellowy um, custard kind of colored wax it almost looked brown when I first opened it up that's why it threw me off a little bit um, but it's almost I guess like a pie crust so I'm really excited to try this one. I plan to use this one in the summer, but you guys know I'm not gonna be able to wait till then. So I'll obviously do a follow-up on this one. So that is the blueberry lemon funnel cake. All right, we got one more. This one I purchased, it's so cute. Sorry, I wish you guys could see me unboxing these. So online, when I saw this one, I go, I gotta get this. I gotta get this. This is Big Top Lemonade, and she is sold out, he or she, is sold out of these, um, the wax of these online. They do have, what was it? Because I was able to get the scent notes. It looks like they have, oh, Sugar Scrub. So the Sugar Scrub of Big Top Lemonade is still available, but it doesn't look like they have the wax. Let me read you the notes. So the notes for Big Top Lemonade include sugary tart yellow lemonade layered with bright pink lemonade. Uh, do you prefer yellow or pink lemonade? This is the best of both. So that's kind of cool. So it's kind of a blend of both worlds. And I just 
really appreciate. This is pretty cool. So this one's very detailed, probably more detailed than the others. Oops, this little top fell off here. So a cute little lemon slice right in here. That's actually like um, an inlet. It's actually inside. That's its own little chunk of wax. Pink on the top with cute little sparkles. Little star on there that kind of fell off. And then there's yellow. So it's probably two different scents. So when you actually break this clamshell apart, you're gonna get the, I guess, lemony lemonade and then the pink lemonade on top. So I'd assume what I'm smelling right now, since the top layer is mostly the pink, is gonna be the pink lemonade. To me, it definitely smells like what you would imagine a pink lemonade to be. Very, very sharp, sharp sugar, a sharp cane sugar. Um, Almost sharp like how um, Yankee Candle Sicilian Lemons, that very sharp lemon. But a little bit of that sweetness that you get in like that candied pink lemonade. I cannot wait to try this one. Um, those of you who followed me for a while, you know I use a lot of lemon and citrus scents in the summer. This is going to be a summer melt for sure, but I'll obviously try it and um, give you guys feedback on Instagram. I just love this little lemon piece. How cute is that? And that is the Big Top Lemonade. So, I mean, really good finds. I'm happy with all of them. I'd say the one that surprised me the most was the Cloud Maze, the lavender one. I thought it was gonna smell a little bit different, but I'm pleased with all of them. And I do have to mention, I mean, that's kind of cool. They included two extra little trial ones. Like I said, don't know if any of these scents are new, but they're new to me and I can't wait to try them. So those of you who have tried any vendor wax or more specifically have tried wax from the bathing garden, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are and what scents you guys use because this is all new to me. So you guys, that's it for me today. Thank you for sticking with me. I know this was a little bit of a longer haul, um, but I did want to unbox it for you uh, on video because those are my favorite types of videos to do. Before I sign off, I want to mention one more time, I am on Instagram. So if you're on there, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, um, wax updates, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. You guys, that is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later.